everybody. Just thought I'd give you a brief rundown into the Arduino use of the NRF 24L01. Uh, if you want to get these things, you've got to get the library. Uh, you can find the library using the Manage Libraries feature of the um, Arduino IDE. It'll do a quick list and install of all the possible libraries. Click into the search area and type in uh, NRF 24L01. And then you'll see uh, what I have here installed already. You can install things that I don't have. For example, this could be installed. I'm not quite sure what it does. I haven't really looked into it much. Uh, there's, um, there's a light version of the NRF uh, library, which I happen to have been using. Uh, there's one for um, Bluetooth Low Energy, which might be worth looking into. That's also been installed. And um, here's one way for six radios to communicate with one another and or another thing for making a mesh so lots of interesting and wonderful um, ways in which to do this uh, here's a library for devices I could install that one let's see how it installs and there it goes now if you want to use one of these things well you want to go over to uh, the examples and maybe you'll look for the NRF light there it is and now you've got some basic transmit facilities and uh, here's a receiver um, here's a transmitter and a receiver and there's a couple of ways in which you can do these sorts of things uh, there are many more interesting and wonderful examples ping pong pair Nordic fob getting started and there's some YouTube videos that you can use and here's some networking facilities which are available so uh, the question of what it is you want to try and do remains open here's an LED remote that might be a good way to start just see if you can turn an LED on remotely. Uh, that's um, a reasonable thing to do. Make sure your radio is hooked up to the right pins. And uh, away you go. Thanks a bunch. Talk to you later. Bye.